everybody, it's Jerry Bellini here for My Arts and Parts, and I just am popping on quick to give you an update of my mini magazine playground journal inspired by Dee Dee Willingham. I will leave a link in the description box below, uh, her YouTube channel where she talks about this. Well, I have been having so much fun, and mine is really thick. I want to show you, mine is four magazines thick. I, I did show you... Um, a little bit in an, in a previous video about about how I did this. So I have been enjoying so much painting, just painting the pages and I'm doing reverse collage so I'm actually painting out the text and leaving in my case I'm leaving images and I'm also leaving uh, words that I find in here that I don't know strike a chord with me. So. I thought, you know, I'm not rushing through this. I'm just going to enjoy the process and take my time and do this. But I opened I opened it up to this page because when I get ready to actually do some journaling or whatever I'm going to do, I haven't totally decided yet uh, whether I'm going to do quotes or just things to inspire me. I'm going to do this page first because this reminds me of me and my mom. This person looks like a blonde and there's a brunette and my mom was blonde and I just I just wanted to share that with you. I miss her very much. Okay, so I wanted to show you how I'm painting my pages. My girlfriend asked me, I really like the way your pages are coming out. What are you doing? Are you using your fingers? Are you um, using a, a credit card? You know, what are you doing? And I like the grungy look as you can see and so I just kind of put some papers in here to show you a couple spots so um, see I'm leave I left the words there rainbow in a box and I'll do something something fun with uh, with that page so anyway I experimented because I'm, I'm doing so and look I also wanted to tell you I'm putting little bits of um, tape in certain sections where I can see the pages were coming out and this is generally in the beginning or the end of the book. So I, I do put a little tape there and it, the uh, paint covers right over there. Anyway, so because I'm doing so many, there's hundreds and hundreds of pages here, maybe 500 pages. I'm like thinking while I'm doing it and I'm like, how can I make this paint nicer and all this crazy stuff. So. That's what I do. I overanalyze things. So anyway, when my friend said, what are you doing? I started to realize that I am doing something particular. When I first started, I was using my fingers. I didn't like that. Then I used a credit card. I didn't really care for that either. Well, I have these uh, inexpensive um, scrapey things. So I started to use, to use these, and I really like it. Now, the other thing I'm doing... Um, I'm going to digress for a second. I wanted to tell you I'm using Folk Art Paint and Americana, and Dee Dee does recommend the Americana paint. It is nice and thick. It covers really well. Um, it's They're both great paints, and they have great colors. I am also using this white acrylic um, apple barrel paint, and this paint, I will tell you, if you just use this paint alone, it's it's kind of watery, and so it's kind of... Um, translucent so you can see you can still see the words if you just do this you'd have to do a couple coats if you don't want to see the words or if you don't want to see them super clear but I love this paint for a particular reason and I'll tell you that in a second so I use these paints um, to do my first swipe on the page okay so I'm gonna just um, Let's see, I thought that's probably what I had that card in there for. I'm going to just use, I'm going to use this page, and I'm going to do do one on camera for you. And I'm using a mailer. This is something that I got in the mail. Lucky winner. And look, it's making, it's creating some really gorgeous texture. And it's a thick card stock. I'll probably use it for a cover for a journal at some point. So I put that in there so that I don't get the paint on the other pages when I'm working because I am kind of sloppy and what I have been doing so I'm going to use this olive green and this yellow because this page has got those colors in it what I've been doing is yep come on out putting a blob of 
one color and a blob of another color right on top of it just like that and then I've just been smearing both of them with my little scrapey thing sometimes I have to admit I'm using too much paint and if that's the case I just uh, scrape it off onto the side and I will reuse it on another page sometimes I don't have enough but okay so this is what I'm doing and I'm just I love this random grungy scrapey look and I do try um, to cover uh, things that you know I don't want to see in my artwork now this word right here I probably could have left it says exploring so sometimes you know sometimes I'm not always aware of what I'm doing because I'm so busy um, just concentrating on putting the paint down so there it says exploring okay so I'm gonna leave that one a little bit available and I like that there's some paint on top of it and I think I said 12 times I like the grungy look okay I go like this in the crack by the time I have like not too much paint there just to kind of get some rattiness along there but you see what happens when you mix the two colors right off the bat and you don't blend see that was just the right amount of paint you don't blend the colors together you just kind of wipe them it, it, I think it's just given this awesome and sometimes I like to scrape back some so that I do see that there's some black text under there you see okay so now once you get that done and Dee, Dee says dry it with a blow dryer so I am going to heat this with um, hit this with my heat gun Alright, I just want you wanted you to see exactly what I'm doing. So the page does become a little wrinkled uh, from, I think, the heat gun and uh, from the paint. I like that, okay? I like that. I love texture. I love, I love all this. Do you, can you feel it? <laughs> I just love it. Okay, so the next thing I do, if I want to have white space, that's where I bring this apple barrel that's a watery kind of a paint and I now I'll put it on top of this let's get rid of that and this is what I do now at this point I'll put it on actually on my scrapey tool and then I just go like that and look I mean I think that's gorgeous I just love that texture it's not for everybody. I know uh, some people are really covering their pages. They want them nice and um, uh, evenly coated with the paint. And that, that looks nice too. But this is my thing. This is my thing. So because this is such a thin paint, it is not covering up my green. I still can see my green back behind there. And you see my scrapey marks that I made before I applied this? Just, and I'm, I'm trying to leave the word exploring uh, available because when I go back in here, I might, I'm going to, not might, um, use that, that word is going to trigger an idea for me for this page. So you definitely could use your fingers, but as I said in the beginning, I think I said, I like the marks that this scrapey tool is giving me. And you know, I, this is another thing I like to do in the corner. If you have very little paint on here, it's like almost dry, and you go like that in the crack, it just puts some beautiful 
I don't know, I hope you can see it. Just put some beautiful mark. I'm all about the texture, guys and gals, and I'm tickled to death with this. So I just wanted to show you, that's what I'm doing. These are the paints, basically the paints that I'm using. It's folk art, and I love this pink, by the way. I just found this uh, two days ago. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm using the folk art, the Americana, to put the base on, and then I am, in most cases, uh, drying it and then putting the white on. Now, this this should be done with the heat gun, but because it was so um, such a thin layer, uh, it'll dry really fast. So you see, I, I go back over with the white. Um, there's a yellow that I did not go back over, but on this side, uh, if you can see that, I did go over. Um, and don't be afraid to use two colors, mix two colors together, like I did the green and yellow. And I feel like it just made it very interesting. And I have done that with teal. I'll mix uh, a teal and a green. And I should have put some things in there. This is the pink. I just love this pink. And I'm not a big pink person, but um, there you can really see the pink because I didn't put any white over it. Um, yeah, I must have went on a pink fit. <laughs> well, I just bought it, so yeah, I had some fun with it. I, I seem to be gravitating towards the yellow, the gold, the green, uh, and the neutrals. Um, let's jump over here. The, um, the uh, tans, the khakis. Um, I did use black on a couple pages, and I just love the look. So that's it. That's all I have to say for today. I just wanted to share with you how I was applying my paints. I will come back on in a day or so and update you with uh, something else that I'm doing in this. But again, I'm really enjoying this. I'm just, just enjoy the process. I'm very, very busy right now. I'm building, my husband's building um, us, rebuilding our house. And there's so much to do and so much shopping to do and decisions to be made that I just need something to like deflate. And this is an awesome way to deflate, is just scraping some paint on the pages. So I hope you'll give it a try. Dee Dee's um, link is gonna be down in the description box below. Um, people are, are using hashtags. If you type in mini playground, mini magazine playground, or you know, a variation of those three words. And there are, uh, there is a hashtag with some letters and I can't remember them off the top of my head, but they'll be in the description box below. And you can see that other people are doing this too. Very inspiring. So I hope you have a blessed day full of love and art, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. <music>